Oh, hi, good morning. This lesson is for my trig pre-calc class. This is going to be for section 7.2. This is going to be lesson number three. Before I get started, I want to say I hope everyone is doing okay out there. And let's keep doing what we need to do. You guys only have a couple more weeks left as high school students, which is probably doesn't feel right. Uh, definitely an odd situation. Um, but again, let's finish strong here. So anyways, uh, today's lesson is on 7.2, lesson 3. This section wasn't in the book, but I felt that in this, what we're covering, this would be a good thing to see. And um, let me uh, let me just go over our goals. It's a pretty simple lesson. We have two goals today. Uh, our first goal is to solve a linear system using transitive property. And then our second goal is going to be to interpret the solution. And um, I guess we can just jump right in and keep this nice, short, and simple. So the transitive property is a way that we're um, able to com connect two ideas. And you guys are actually familiar with the transitive property. And let me give you an example of it. You know that two $10 bills is the same as a $20 bill. That would be this equation. You also know that four $5 bills would be the same as a $20 bill. So what you can logically conclude is that two $10 bills is the same as four $5 bills. So you were able to basically say since two things are equal to the same thing, those two things themselves must be equal. And so we're going to um, use this to solve systems of linear equations. And again, we're looking for where the, uh, the linear equa equations cross. So, um, in this uh, in this first example, again, I, I this is set up for the transitive property. Um, the equations, the order is switched, so the same thing is on the, on the left side instead of being on the right side. Um, but the idea is still the same, right? So four x minus one is equal to y, as well as minus x plus four. So since both of these are equal to the same thing, we can then very quickly say that they must be equal to themselves. So this becomes, um, what is it? It becomes uh, 4x minus 1, that equals minus x plus 4. Let's get all the x's to one side, let's move all the numbers to the other. So I'll add an x to both sides. I will add a 1 to move that over. So my x's are gone, my minus 1's gone. And now I have 5x equals to 5, which means x is equal to 1. All right, and like I said, it's a real simple lesson. Um, I can plug this in here. Four times one is four. Four minus one is three. So my first answer to this problem is going to be uh, <laughs> that's my x value. So my x is one. So again, when I plug in one to this, it's four times one, which is four. Four minus one is three. So one comma three. All right. Um. So yeah, that is. Real simple. Um, the second example, we have a fraction in it. So again, two things are equal to the same thing. So these two things must be themselves equal. So one third X, let me make sure I'm not in the way. Minus two, that equals to two X plus three. In this problem, we have a fraction, which you guys don't like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply everybody by the denominator in the fraction. So, you get a three, you get a three, you get a three, and you get a three. That's what over must feel like. Everyone gets a three, right? The three is canceled, now I'm left with one x minus six, and that's equal to six x plus nine. All right, so let's do what we did. So let's get all the x's to one side and all the numbers to the other side. I want to bring over the one x because I want to deal with a positive coefficient to that number. I'm going to move the 9 to the other side. Okay. So my 1x is cancel. I owe you 6. I owe you 15. You're going to tell, I owe you 6. I owe you 9. You're going to tell me that I owe you 15. And 6x minus 1x is that's 5x. Divide away the 5. x is equal to negative 3. I would like to plug it into this problem because I don't want to deal with a fraction. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So my answer to the second problem is negative 3 comma negative 3. So it's a um, very simple 
methods to solve these equations. Now, um, the next problem, uh, I, I wrote down the equations. It's, 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 it's a situation that some of you might experience when you're older is you're going to have the uh, opportunity to choose between two, you know, two jobs. Um, you know, one job pays you $20,000 a year and $6,000 a, a annual increase in your salary. The other job starts you off at a higher amount, 36000 and then you only get a $2,000 raise, right? So, um, so let's, uh, let's, let's, you know, again, these, these equations represent your salaries. X is the number of years you've worked at your job. Y is how much you've made at that particular year, right? So at the first year, we would actually start with zero, right? Um, you know, you made twenty thousand on that job, and then thirty-six thousand dollars on the other job. The classic question that is asked from this is, how long does it take to make the, you know, when both jobs pay the same? And so again, you're looking for where the lines cross. And since this has a six thousand, um, a slope of six thousand, and this one has a slope of two thousand, this one's steeper, so it's going to catch this one a little quicker here. So again, we use the transitive property to solve this. Uh, let's see here. So 6,000 X plus 20,000 to start equals 2,000 X plus 36,000. Right, so again, let's do what we did. Let's get all the X's to one side. So I'm gonna subtract the 2,000 to both sides, 2,000 X to both sides. And I'm also going to subtract the 20,000 to both sides. All right, so here we go. So we're left with 4,000x, and that's equal to 16,000, because that cancels, that cancels, so that equals 16,000. Um, you need four 4,000s four to get to 16,000, right? So x equals four. So at four years, both jobs will pay the same. And, you know, the classic question is, you know, that's the question, how long until they pay the same? And then which job would you take? And you'd say, well, I would take uh, the second job. I'm sorry, the first job, because you make more a month. And after four years, you're now um, making, as, making more per year. But there's also another way to look at this problem, and I, I like to just talk about that real quick. And, and what we can do is we can actually consider, and this kind of is a hint to, since this is a pre-calc class, kind of a hint to the next year's class and, and, and how to look at this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a table for each job. Right. And this table... Um, It'll show a little bit more of the data. Um, let's see here. So X, remember, X is the number of years at the job. So this first table will be for this job, right? So on my first year, which is a zero, which uh, being honest, how old you are when you're born, um, my first year I made, and I'm just going to put 20K, okay? My uh, set, my second year, which is one, I have made 26,000, 26K. My third year which is a two, I wanted to write a three really bad, I made 32,000. And my fourth year, um, let's see here, my fourth year I made 38,000, 38K. Uh -oh. Did I not do this right? Where's my mistake? Huh. All right. <laughs> Um, what am I doing? Did I make a mistake? All right, so let's see here. So if my third year, sorry, my third year. No, this is my fourth year. I'm having a problem. My fifth year. So I guess this, we have to interpret this a little bit different, right? So here we are at 44,044. All right, so, um. Yeah, this will be your fifth year working, even though this, the answer is four. All right, so um, so when X is four, we're gonna have the solution. All right, so again, you know, counting it's 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 a little tricky sometimes, right? Because I cannot again, I can ask you that question. Um,
consider the numbers, um, consider 8 to 12, right? If I ask you how many hours you worked from 8 to 12, you would say 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 hours. Um, if I told you to read eight pages 8 to 12, you would say that you read 5 pages, right? Page 8, page 9, page 10, page 11, page 12. So, again, how we count determines the, uh, or, you know, the value. So, even though this is a four, this is our fifth year working. And I was having a problem here because I was looking at this and, and there's no way, because what you'll see here is when our, we work our second year, we, we would have been here, right? So, I, um, I got a little confused. Okay, so anyways, um, so our first year, we made 36K. Our second year, we made 38K. So that, th this is where I was getting tripped up because, you know, I, the answer was in four years. Um, or, or I misinterpreted that. Um, now here we go to 40K. And here we go to 42K. And here we go to 44K. So in the fifth year, of working or S is for, uh, we've made the same amount. And so the question would be, you know, which job would you choose? And, and a lot of people would say, I would actually choose the job that pays you 6,000 a, a more a year because, you know, now you're making more a year. Um, so here's the thing, uh, that is, is missed from this consideration of this question is how long would you be intend to work at these jobs? Because we see here that it actually takes five years to um, for the pay to be the same, and then on this job, the following year you actually make four thousand more. The following year after that, you make four thousand more. So I, I want to point out something here. Okay, um, don't just pay attention to when you make the same amount. Pay attention to how much you made total. So like right here, you you made seventy four thousand, um, a hundred and fourteen thousand, uh, a hundred and fifty six thousand. Is this gonna be? So this job you made two hundred thousand dollars, and I hope you can see that you made two hundred thousand dollars in five years at this job. No, you didn't. <laughs> I don't know how to add very well, do I? 74, 114, 156. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. If, if five years working, you made 200,000. Where this other job, let's see here, we've made 20, 46, uh, 78, what is that? 86, 116, 120, 160. Where this job, you know, in those five years, we made $160,000, right? So, you know, even though you're making more now in this job, you have to realize that this job, you started off with so much more. So, you know, I believe when we're at X is 8, if we were to continue this down, we would actually see that it would take that long for... Um, both jobs to have paid you the same amount. So again, um, the, the, the consideration of when they pay the same, that's, that's kind of a, um, you know, not a very good question when you're, when you're thinking about this. You want to take into account how much you've made in total over the years, because that's, that's an entire year salary difference, right? $40,000 is a big amount of money difference between the two. So, <laughs> I'm, uh, I kind of goofed up on this one a little bit, but I, again, uh, you know, the, the thought process I, I, I think is important to see. So again, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. Uh, the lesson again is pretty simple. You're solving much simpler problems than this. We're using the transitive property. I don't think this assignment should take you very long. And again, let's do everything we need to do. I hope you guys are doing okay out there and I'll post the next video on Friday. So have a good day, everybody.